In this video, we're going to review the factoring method that we can use for polynomials that follow the sum of cubes rule. So we'll create a template. You'll see how that works. And then SOAP, as you see in the title, is going to be our acronym that helps us remember our signs that we should place in this factoring template. You'll also be able to use this when we go through difference of cubes. And so that's why the SOAP method is there. All right, so we're going to factor the polynomial in general form. It's the sum of two cubes. So we have a cubed, we have b cubed, we're adding them together. We know we can use this template. So first, let me just show you the template. It'll factor into a binomial and a trinomial. And we are going to put in our first two terms in the binomial. So that'll just be a and b. We'll do the signs in just a minute. And then there's a trinomial. So you'll have three terms. It'll be a squared, a, b, b squared. And this trinomial will never be able to be factored any further. When you start solving, you'll see that this only gives you um, imaginary solutions. So you will never be able to factor it. Just a nice thing to know, save you some time and some energy. All right, so you have the setup with the a and b, and now we're going to use that acronym SOAP to fill in the three signs that are missing. So between the binomial terms and then the trinomial terms. So the S stands for same. It'll be the same sign as your original polynomial. The next one, O, stands for opposite. Okay, and that'll be the opposite sign. So in this case, a negative or subtraction sign. And the AP reminds you that this last sign between these two terms will always be positive. So always, and I'll abbreviate, always positive. So to fill in for this template of sum of cubes, we'll have the same sign, so addition, we're looking at this one, the opposite sign, so subtraction, then always positive. And SOAP just helps you remember to places and it really will become second nature. This is your template for the sum of cubes factoring. Now, if you're happy with this template, then you're ready to go. Check the video description. You'll have a link that can take you to more examples of how to use this with specific examples of factoring. But if you want to prove this to yourself, does this factoring template actually give you back the polynomial a cubed plus b cubed? Let's just take a minute and multiply it out. So just simple polynomial multiplication. We'll start with this term a. So a times a squared, a cubed, a times negative AB is minus A squared B. A times B squared, of course, is plus AB squared. All right, moving on to the second term from the binomial, B times A squared. So that's just plus A squared B. B times negative AB, so minus AB squared. And B times B squared is plus B cubed. So you see we have several terms that cancel here. We have the a squared b terms, a positive and negative, and the a b squared terms. Those cancel to zero, and we're left just with a cubed plus b cubed. So you see that little bit of multiplication proves that this template does work. Use this template in several examples in a row, and you'll start to see that you just remember it. It's not really something that you have to memorize. SOAP will help you make sure the signs are following correctly, and this really will become second nature just with a little bit of practice. So be sure to check out more examples, link in the video description, and thanks for watching. Good luck.